there are many strong value propositions for implementing cluster data on tap. Non-disrupted operations is a core value proposition that many of our customers have been wanting for some time, and now the promise has been realized. Non-disruptive operations means there is no need for planned downtime, and fewer resources need to be focused on the mundane movement of data, both of which allow our customers to focus on value-added activities for their organization. But non-disruptive operations is by no means the only value proposition of cluster data on tap. Cluster data on tap also provides the same proven efficiency features that you're familiar with in 7 mode, like deduplication, compression, and thin provisioning. In addition, the quality of service capability in cluster data on tap provides an additional means to control workload bullies than what you have available in 7 mode today. Finally, cluster data on tap provides a true scale out architecture, which allows you to start small and scale your system as your needs grow. Like 7 mode before it, our solution reduces risks by offering a single architecture across all applications, which is easier to monitor, maintain, train for, and operate. Cluster Data on Tap enables the move to a private cloud or hybrid cloud environment, which is certainly a high priority for our customers who need to lower their costs to serve their customers but can't accept the risks of other considerations regarding the public cloud. These value propositions are real and being enjoyed by hundreds of our customers today. Which customers? Let me give you a, some statistics. Here you can see that cluster data on tap has been adopted by 52 of the Fortune 100, 137 of the Fortune 500, and these numbers are increasing every day. Cluster data on tap runs across more than 2,000 customer environments managing more than 1,100 petabytes of data and is now deployed on over 13,000 controllers. Cluster data on tap is not in the early adopter phase. It has been adopted by large and small enterprises for mission critical workloads of every type and has been adopted in every industry we serve. <laughs> who, who are those customers? Let's take a look. This is just a small sample of our customers across a wider range of industries who are utilizing cluster data on tap today across a, a diverse set of workloads. We are proud of the names shown here. Equally important, though, are the names of companies whose name are the, who we can't show here. But, we are, but those companies are also realizing the value of cluster data on tap in their environments today. Now, how do we get there? Oftentimes, we hear the terms transition and migration used interchangeably. However, when they are, they really are separate concepts. When we use the term transition, we are talking about the end-to-end -end process of moving data on tap seven mode and third-party environments to cluster data on tap. We also are talking about including process, policy, and technology offerings used during the assessment, planning, migration, and operator show phases that you see here to support a successful move to cluster data on tap. We talk about the term migration, we're really addressing the tasks of extracting, cleansing, loading, and verifying the data being transferred between storage formats and the systems moving into data on tap. An important element to note about the transition methodology that you're seeing here is that it's not only focused on the migration phase. The most important part of the methodology is really the first two phases shown on this slide, which are assess and prepare. The assess phase focuses on the current as-is solution and customer readiness. The prepare phase enables a proper plan to be fully built to execute the data migration, architect the solution to take advantage of new capabilities, and plan for operating the environment following the transition. The operate phase is also critically important and is often at risk of being ignored. It is important to consider that one of the core elements of Cluster Data on TAP's ROI is non-disruptive operations. Our customers need to be prepared to operate cluster data on tap to realize non-disruptive operations. Getting back to the assess phase, the objective of the assessment is to answer the questions about whether you can trans, uh, transition now, meaning does timing align with events like a tech refresh or a new project? Are there any transition inhibitors that might prevent a transition from taking place right now? Perhaps a transition might be need to be done later. The timing doesn't align with current business activities or there are other transition inhibitors found during the assessment. Or it could be much later. Significant transition inhibitors exist that cannot be worked around or solved by the planned functionality. So what are maybe some of those transition inhibitors? Well, those could be feature functionality related. The feature differences between 7 mode and cluster data on tap have been nearly eliminated with the 8.2 release. And Metro Cluster, 
a remaining feature gap between 7 node and cluster data on tap will be available with the 8.3 release later this year. Another transition inhibitor could be related to equipment, such as a tech refresh timing. New equipment may defer a transition to cluster data on tap to a later time. Or the equipment that was being targeted to be repurposed may, not, may be approaching end of support, so may not be a, an ideal candidate for moving and transitioning to cluster data on tap. There may also be operational challenges like updates to current processes that need to take place or and the need to train existing staff. You could also have scheduling cutover considerations when moving applications and users to access the data migrated to cluster data on tap that could also defer or, or delay a transition. So what type of tools are available for the assessment phase and then if needed or desired the migration phase? Here's a quick overview. Transition Advisor is a tool used during the assessment phase to compare the current 7-mode environment with a targeted cluster data on tap environment. The current auto support data is used to identify parity gaps and workarounds along with verifying hardware compatibility with the targeted cluster data on tap version. CSTOR and NetApp can provide that information to you for your environment today and can start to help identify gaps or transition inhibitors very quickly. When we look at migration, there are now several options for moving data into a cluster data on tap environment. Let's take a quick look at the migration tools that are available today. The available migration tools are based upon whether we are doing a NAS migration or a SAN migration. Which tool or tools are used can be identified after taking into account additional considerations like your preference to using a hardware based tool or a software based tool. Do you want to maintain the existing DR relationships? or possibly requirements to minimize the impact to your current applications or users. This leads back to the importance of the assessment phase where these considerations and which migration tools be used are all taken into account. In regards to the NAS migration tools available from NetApp, the 7-mode migration tool provides a replication-based migration from 7-mode to cluster data on tap for both SIFS and NFS data. This tool preserves the storage efficiency of deduplication and compression along with snapshot copies and snap mirror relationships. The 7MTT tool has a graphical interface which makes it easy to set up migration jobs and provides a dashboard view of the configured migration jobs, the migration job status, and the readiness for cutover. As for SAN migrations, the DTA 2800 is a hardware appliance that provides the ability to avoid, perform SAN migrations to cluster data on tap. The SAN migration using the DTA 2800 is not limited to only your 7-mode SAN environment. If, for example, you have a third-party SAN environment that is close to being retired and you want to move that data to cluster data on tap, the DTA 2800 appliance is a means to accomplish that goal. The applicability of the 2800 appliance for your environment can be further examined during the transition assessment. In addition to the NetApp tools, there are third-party tools available as well. The third-party options include tools that are integrated into your application like VMware Storage vMotion and Oracle ASM. Application-based migration tools are either are or can be non-disruptive and may be tools that you're already familiar with. There are numerous host-based tools as well that can be used in the migration phase like logical value managers, secure copy, robocopy. In addition, one additional migration option we have yet to touch on is to not migrate or defer migration to a later time. One of my customers decided during their assessment to initially deploy cluster data on tap for only their new projects. This approach allowed them to not have to worry about disruptions to their current 7 mode environment and also allowed them to become familiar with operating cl a cluster data on tap environment. Now that they've been running cluster data on tap in their environment for almost a year, they're now going back and assessing whether they will migrate some or all of their data that is on their 7-mode systems today. Whichever migration tool or approach is best for your current 7-mode environment is precisely what the assess phase of the transition methodology is all about. There is not a single answer for all situations, but the transition to cluster data on tap is more about what is best for your specific environment and situation that will allow you to deploy and use cluster data on tap successfully. So in summary, CSOAR and NetApp are ready to assist. Now is the time to take advantage of the value of cluster data on tap. There are over 2,000 of our customers across more than 13,000 controllers that have made this transition. Those customers are realizing the value of cluster data on tap in their business today. 
This is no longer a new technology. We have a methodology that is proven, that we use every day, that is flexible enough to meet customers' unique needs, and successfully moves our customers to cluster data on tap. For our next step, let's get together and start planning your transition to cluster data on tap.